So, that annoying little noise you hear is this little fella, which is the lost model alarm. Uh, available on eBay in a number of places. I got this for 99p uh, each from a Chinese seller, but you can pay up to three or four pounds in the UK. So the question on the forum today was, would one of these work with one of these, um, which is using uh, SBUS uh, to talk to the flight controller? And the answer is yes. So what I've done basically, I have an Orange 620 a receiver and it's connected using the SBUS port to my NASE32 flight controller that's in there um, using a Turnergy, no not Turnergy, sorry, a FreeSky um, SBUS to CPPM converter cable. And the way it works is that this device, the lost alarm, lost model alarm, connects to one of the PWM pins on your receiver. And in this case, I've attached it to the aileron pin, which is the second one in on uh, Spectrum and Orange Gear. And the test was to see whether, even when using SBUS, that the PWM that normally goes off to the ESCs or servos is still present on these ports. And the answer to that question is yes, it is. So what's now happened, and I'll just reset it a moment ago. In one minute, if there is no PWM change um, on the Aileron port, and there isn't because I'm not touching the controller, the transmitter, um, this will then go into lost model alarm mode and will start sending out uh, that high-pitched peep. And if there's no movement for a further 60 seconds, um, then it will go into a hysterical mode, a very rapid beeping, whereby the only way to silence it is to pull the power from the model. It will not go silent unless either you pull the power because you found the model or the LiPo itself eventually dies because uh, you haven't found the model yet. It's not absolutely foolproof. Um, if the battery becomes separated for some reason, that won't work. But clearly, it does work um, using the PWM pins, even if you're using SBUS or CPPM out of your receiver. And I would presume that that's the same for almost any receiver you can care to buy um, that has both bust and discrete pins. I'm just going to keep this video running for long enough for it to go into hysterical mode and then I shall stop it. And that's now in panic mode and there is absolutely nothing I can do to silence it by moving the sticks. Which is really good because it means that um, even if there's radio interference or something going on nearby it won't, it won't stop. Thank you for watching.